Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share with you three little tips to improve the autofocus performances while filming with your Lumix S-Line cameras. Stay tuned! If you're not subscribed yet, consider to do it, it's a good way to say thank you for this video. Plus, you're gonna be updated when I release a new video, so it's a win-win situation for both of you. The first and the most obvious uh, tip I can give you is to avoid to use uh, V-Log. The Panasonic is using a contrast detect based autofocus system, so if you're using a picture profile with no contrast, you already can imagine that the camera is gonna have a really hard time to find focus. So if you really need to use the effective 12.3 stops of the dynamic range uh, from the Panasonic S-Line cameras, I highly recommend you to use the HLG picture profile, because in this way the autofocus performances are gonna be way better than Vlog. Try it, you can trust me, it's gonna work way better. The second tip I can give you is to use high frame rate recording options. For example, if you can film at 60 frames per second, or even 30 can be good enough, uh, you're gonna see a huge boost in the autofocus performances with the camera. Because the Lumix S lines are using a depth from the focus uh, uh, algorithm, and uh, having a higher frame rate is gonna help the processor of the camera to calculate the right focus point. The third tip I can give you to get good autofocus continuous for video, but also for photography, is to use just the single box autofocus point. Having a limited amount of autofocus points from that square is gonna help the processor of the camera to calculate way better the autofocus point uh, while moving. I know that this video is a little bit short, so I'm gonna give you an extra bonus tip. We all know that these cameras are suffering uh, from the 24 and 25 FPS 4K 10 bit, uh, while using the autofocus continuous. Mostly it's because we are using uh, the full sensor. So if you're gonna use the APS-C region of the sensor, the autofocus performances are gonna be way better. If you're curious about the autofocus settings that I use in my camera, uh, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna release a new video where I dive more in the menu and show you the settings I use most of the time. So thank you for watching guys, this is it for today, I'll see you next time. Ciao!